So this is a quick video of how to use a straight line cane like that and this isn't a real good one but if you have canes like this you can use these to make a simple little pendant. You can also use twisty canes to do this or you can just use a rod and you can put whatever decorations you want onto the rod and then condense it down and form your pendant the same way. So the basic procedure is just kind of like if you were making a marble, just take this rod and gather it up in the flame, then I'm going to put a little bit of a twist in it, and then pull out the top and make a bale. So I'm starting with a section of that cane on the end of a rod here, and I just stuck it on. And I'm just going to warm it up kind of slowly and slowly gather up the end just like I'm kind of like I'm making a marble out of this. So I want to angle it up into the flame. And I actually find it helpful to have another rod on the other side. So let's do that. Crack the end off of this one. That makes it a little easier to gather it up without twisting. And you can push a little bit to make it gather up a little quicker. You're going to need a rod on the other end to finish it anyway. Then when you have a little bit of glass gathered up, just put a little twist into it. Hold and let it cool. I'm going to put a little bit more twist on the bottom here. There we go. And then just kind of round it out. So that's good. I'm happy with that the way that is. So I'm going to pull off the top. Just by flame cutting and twisting a little bit. Melt that in and gather it up a little bit here. So that basically I have that hard to see. Ooh. 
now I'm going to make the bale the easy way just by folding this part over. Warm it up until it just starts to move just a little bit. And then literally just grab it, pull, and move it around. Keeping your tweezers in the middle of the hole as you do it will help keep it from closing up again. So it looks like that. And then I'm just going to melt the end of that veil and I'll use my reamer to straighten out the hole after that neck is melted in. Hit it from both sides with the reamer. Look at it from different angles to see it's lined up. differently keeping the whole thing warm here while I decide what I'm going to do I'm looking for a, I need a clear, I need a small clear run. There's one. Alright. This is tricky, but I am going to go ahead and cold punky onto the top of the bale. Just letting gravity shape the bottom of it there. And then, because this thing is really small, I'm just going to grab it in these. Just throw that in a fiber blanket. 
And now I'll annihilate with the beads later. So that's what it looks like after cooling off. As you can see, it's really small. But that's a pretty little pendant. Now I should have spent a little more time on it. Right, I rushed for the video a little bit. But, yeah, that's what you end up with. And it's really, really simple and easy to make.